Hello. <laughs> The big winner last night was Beyonce. She won the Fashion Icon Award. So this is your fashion icon, uh, everyone. <laughs> this, this is your icon. Now, Beyonce's really great, and I hate when the beehive gets all stingalicious on me. <laughs> Clap if you see Beyonce as a fashion icon. This coming from a woman in a wrinkled <laughs> blouse <laughs> and a denim skirt. No, you look cute. Rough weekend, Suzanne? What? Rough weekend? <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing, you look cute. <laughs> That's the great thing about working, you know, on shows and like in radio and stuff. You can dress any way you want when you go to work. It's, it's gotta be fun for the entire... <laughs> no, it's cute! I'm, I said it's cute. I, it is fancy. Okay, <laughs> iced tea and cocoa. And we found out that cocoa and iced tea um, had the very big fight. Remember this part, I'm catching you up to speed after the racy fo photos that surfaced. This one in particular that I'm talking about is with the rapper AP9. Mm -hmm. Coco denied cheating with AP9, and I said that their marriage is stronger than ever, but now there's this disgusting two-page expose, and it's pointing everything, including 10 guilty fingers, to Coco. Oh. One of the reasons that I loved their love is because I loved watching the reality show, and she would walk around like sex bomb, but she'd make them sandwiches, and, you know, they loved each other, but now you know they're there's implications that there's a lot more to the story and unfortunately my mind is now crowded with so much more that I'm just looking like uh oh we have to get rid you need to drop her back off on the corner where you found her <laughs> Lindsay Lohan <laughs> in our morning meeting as soon as I heard her name I was like nope <laughs> nope and I immediately picked up my device you know when you want to ignore people and you start Scrolling at nothing because you, you, I've, I've checked out of this um, meeting. <laughs> the most random thing is that Lindsay's life coach is Shireen from House Party. <laughs> <laughs> there she is! <laughs> Isn't it amazing how all these black women have had to come in and save Lindsay? <laughs> now look, no, 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 it's, it's very random. Look, <laughs> I think about it. <laughs> you know, you've got. Um, Sean Holly, the lawyer, who's kept her out of jail, except for that little hiccup. Um, then you've got Oprah with the Oprah show. Um, uh-huh. And now you've got, um, Shireen. <laughs> All right, Lindsay, well, um, get it together. Aww. Nobody's laughing anymore. <laughs> Mrs. Norwood, no, this is why, this is why you don't see Brandy uh, strung out, out here falling out of the clubs, because, you know, her mom is no Dina Lowen. Turn off the TV for a moment, Mama June. Because <laughs> I'm about to talk about you and your fat family. <laughs> Mama June, by the way, is coming here on April 11th. We'll finally be able to keep all the pillows on the couch. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, please, no. You know, once somebody takes care of themselves, then, then you can actually say what you were feeling. When I woke up this morning, I woke up to surprising news only because uh, you figured X Factor would be eventually canceled, but they just snuck in the cancellation over the weekend. And I didn't find out about it until this morning. It's been on for three seasons. This show was never a hit. <laughs> Paulina Ruba, be, what is she going to do? I don't know. I, I'd be honest, I'd never heard of her until she got onto X Factor, so maybe she'll go back into obscurity. We were gonna talk about Drake and Rihanna being a couple earlier this week, but I told my Hot Topics team, I don't believe you all are even believing this. Rihanna's not the keeper. She's the drive-by girl. She's the run-through girl. <laughs> Look, this is how she presents herself on Instagram and every place else. Come on, you guys, you know I'm not judging. You, you see exactly what I see. Rihanna is a fun girl, but she's not a wife and she's not a girlfriend. Sorry. The Hollywood actress, that, why are you so shocked at that? <laughs> what, because I'm saying it? That's what I'm here for. I say the things you're thinking. <laughs> Selena Gomez is probably one of the most manufactured artists out here. Selena's not a singer. So <laughs> Please. <laughs> Selena Gomez is no Selena. Yeah. When I hear Selena sing, 
I can't help myself. I cry like a baby, right? I mean, not that Selena. I'm talking about the real Selena. Jen Garner. I don't, I, I, I don't know this woman. I don't even know what she's acted in. You know, on, honest to God. On, honest to God. Oh, Alias? Alias I, on I, ABC. I've never seen that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that is. That doesn't even matter. The point is, is that <laughs> these days in pop culture, it doesn't matter how you're, well, it does matter how you're popular. You don't want to be laying on your back and, you know, getting it good to be popular, Kim. <laughs> Kendall Jenner is taking control of her modeling career and I like it. She recently announced that she's dropping her last name. So we're not gonna call her Kendall Jenner, we're gonna call her Kendall. <laughs> is she famous enough for that? No. She just needs that Jenner a little bit more? Yes. Maybe, <laughs> Kardashian, she needs Kardashian. <laughs> Yeah, but that's what she's, she, no, she's running from Kardashian. Don't you understand? This girl's trying to have a legit career. Not that they don't. I, I mean, Kendall might be the model, but she ain't the prettiest. Just saying. I mean, she's an attractive girl, but when you put them all next to Kim, do you think that Kim's the most attractive? Clap. Who thinks Kendall's more attractive? Clap. Who doesn't give a damn about it all? is still legally married to Chris Humphreys. Um, uh, according to Radar Online, unless uh, Kim gives in, he's still asking for his demand, which is admit the marriage was fake. <laughs> well, admit it was a fraud. I had high hopes in the beginning of this case that Chris uh, Humphreys was going to win and, and you know teach the Kardashians and their trickery a thing or two, but he's not going to win. I mean, first of all, Kim has won round one. One of the reasons is that he didn't even show up to court. How are we going to win if we don't show up? Kim and Chris were both required to make the, the appearance uh, there in LA, but he missed his flight from New York. Day. <laughs> Day. The judge granted Kim and Chris a divorce. It's a victory for Kim. According to TMZ, Kim won't have to pay Chris a dime. Although in the back of my mind, I think that Kardashians might have slipped him a little something, something just to go away. Chris initially was demanding $7 million from her on account of fraud. Chris also uh, dropped his demands for the annulment based on fraud. So now they're both considered divorcees. Chris Humphreys has dropped the ball on every level after a year and a half. Because didn't we think he was going to go in and things were going to be exposed? And, yeah. Duh. Yeah. Well, we finally know why Kim was miserable on her honeymoon, and everything is attached to that madman she's married to. <laughs> so while they're on their honeymoon in Ireland, he insisted that they continue to perfect this picture for four damn days. You know she regrets marrying him. <laughs> I mean, he is really obsessed like a woman. Oh. North is in the baby basket. They're in Manhattan. They're, she's walking down the street, boobs out. Oh. I, um, I don't get it. I, you know, sh this wasn't Kim before Kanye. I guess that Kanye is changing her looks. Kind of like, you know, a project of hers, or of his. <laughs> Amanda tweeted that uh, she now wants to become a singer slash rapper. And according to, well, and according to E! News, Amanda is meeting with White Clef Jean about a possible album collaboration. Well, no, not all. I mean, if she's gonna sing, that's good. He knows something about dealing with crazy singers and rappers, Lauryn Hill, right? He knows. But it appears that uh, someone else wants to uh, help her career also. Kris Jenner. His, Mrs. Jenner, you're creepy to me. <laughs> and I mean that, and I mean that, I know creepy is a weird word you're asking me in your mind to explain, I'll explain. I'm talking about in the Like creepy, cre scary, creepy. 
Ew. <laughs> She's going to, uh, as, you know, some of the bait promised that uh, she will be able to collab with Kanye West. Oh. Allegedly. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Lamar Odom's father is lashing out against the Kardashians. I can't read you Lamar's entire rant on Twitter, but part of it said that, um, you know, you know, my father's never even met Kris Kardashian, so how's she, oh, Jenner, how's he gonna talk about a woman that he's never met? But with Kris, it's easy, because you could call her the devil just watching her through the TV. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bruce Jenner with a bandage on his nose? It's not plastic surgery. It's cancer. Yeah. Well, Bruce has skin cancer and it has it had, you know, some of those skin cancer marks removed from his nose. While Bruce was under the knife, Chris was allegedly partying in Mexico oh. with Joe Francis of Girls Gone Wild. Oh. Look, she's, she's uh, like 57 or 59, 57, and he's 40 years old. You know, he is used to girls going wild, so why not a mom going wild? <laughs> Chris Jenner is still with that man. You know, the one with the big hips. <laughs> and apparently, um, they went on a vacation together to Mexico, to Joe Francis's house. <laughs> Extra chlorine in that pool. <laughs> if you don't tend to chlamydia, which oh. oozes and burns and stuff, <laughs> You could go sterile as a man, and it, it affects women worse than men. Really? Yeah. Mm hmm I've never had an STD, so I mean, we All got those some girls you've been with? <laughs> knock, knock. She was wearing six-inch heels. Have you ever tried to walk in six-inch heels, ladies? I mean, I haven't. I haven't. But I can imagine you might sway a little bit and lean on the walls. So there's that. Who knows? Okay. That's hey, that's good. Look at us. <laughs> The first one is that Lupita's brother is more prominent in the picture than Lupita is. <laughs> the second thing that I really liked is that Angelina Jolie waves like a girl. I thought that was endearing, because normally, like, when you think of her, you think of a man-stealing viper. <laughs> okay, let's talk about Beyonce. Oh. Well, there's a thigh gap scandal going on. Yeah, there we go. Do you see the waving of the floor? That's the evidence of the photoshopping. I have a producer here who's obsessed with Beyonce and is very, very... This is a grown woman, by the way. <laughs> uh, she's very, very upset that Beyonce would do this, this photoshopping. I mean, she's devastated. I'm just like, are you serious? Now, maybe if a nine-year-old girl saw this, she'd be upset because, you know, nine-year-olds, their, their minds are still being shaped and they believe all the skinniness they see in magazines and they, they, they you know, their, their minds. But um, Photoshop, Shmotoshop, look, I don't care whether you Photoshop, airbrush, or lip sync. It's all gonna come out in the wash. <laughs> you know, like when, when, the, when the tape breaks or the DJ passes out and all of a sudden, <laughs> listen, listen, and all, you, you know how sometimes that happens? and you're just left to continue singing on the stage. <laughs> the, the proof is in the pudding, you know? You can Photoshop pictures of yourself all you want, but when people see you in person, they're gonna see the real you. <laughs> Mariah Carey is on the cover of Out Magazine. And, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, wow? That's a picture from her album cover, which was recycled from the old album cover, and you know what she's doing. Mariah is not taking aging well at all. So inside, she discusses aging, and, uh, and here's what she says. First of all, don't round up. If you're going to round, round down. I don't count years, I have anniversaries, not birthdays, because I celebrate life, darling. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Too much messing around with your face. Yeah. There is too much, and, and, and if, you're, if you like it, Mariah, then why wouldn't you put an accurate picture of you, which would be that right there on your album cover and on Out Magazine. <laughs> Lambs don't get me, you know I'm right. Eh, darling, darling, darling. I... It, it just, you're from Long Island. You have 80 hours of business school, for goodness sakes, <laughs> or beauty school. You're not. 
You know, like, like, you're not a real princess. And the idea that you're wealthy beyond belief, still, you're still just from Long Island, darling. Oh, that's, <laughs> this is gonna grow tired real quick. Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth are over. I could see Miley going black before she goes back, though. <laughs> Don't you? Before she goes back, like, like, oh, come on. I mean, I, like, I see her marrying white. Do you know what I'm saying? But I see her going black before she comes back. <laughs> Let me tell you about this guy. Allegedly, they've been dating for seven months. I'm not a soothsayer, but I do wear a turban. He alleges that he's 25 years old. <laughs> he said more like 35. Look, well, he's alleged to be 25 years old. I don't know. All I know is, is that, and then um, when we were in our meeting this morning, somebody said, do you think that uh, Miley's parents are upset that she's with a black guy? And I said, that needs to be the least of their worries with her, okay? This is a long way from um, that other little boyfriend that, that, you know, that Liam Hemsworth. Show them together, yep. Different time. She even dressed differently, ladylike. You know what I mean? He was so clean cut. He's got that nice looking brother. <laughs> I bet you he's somewhere right now with a nice girlfriend saying, whew, I dodged that bullet. <laughs> I don't think that that girl, you know, twerking on stage is the real Miley. That's what she does for show because you have to go real far and do the most these days to get you all's attention to buy music. There's that tongue and just that irreverence. And anyway, inside, Miley talks about the falling out, um, uh, the fallout of the VMA performance that she did. She said that she's not bothered by the critics, but what does bother her is people who say that she's trying to be black. Some say Miley tries uh, to appropriate black culture and use black background dancers like props. Um, I, I would agree. I mean, it doesn't bother me because I'm just so used to it on account of the world around us. I'll explain in a moment. We talk race relations here on the show, so please don't start scratching and get nervous and ticky, okay? <laughs> White people take this in the best way. Some of you have been appropriating my people's culture longer than we've, many of us have been alive. People are people, and appropriating culture is appropriating culture, whatever, whatever that is. The thing is, is that when young white people uh, do the black thing, <laughs> these same young white people grow up to be middle-aged white people. They take off the whole black accessory thing and they become white again. I've watched this happen. You know, I grew up in a very mixed community. I watch, you know, my son now, you know, with his, you know, his friends and whatnot, and you know, white girls loving up little black Kev, and you know, <laughs> and and it, and his white friends sagging lower than my son could ever sag, and I have to, you know, and yo yo go and all that stuff. Just, yeah, Miley. I, I mean, I see it, and it, you can't pick up black and put it down. Black is something that you are and it is. That's all. How did I communicate that whole message, Suzanne? Was that messy? No, Wendy, you're my homie. <laughs> oh. Well then yo, 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 Suzanne, you get it. Yes, I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Now if that was a black woman, and I hate to turn things into race, but you know, we black people, we can't just walk around and say stuff like this. I, I guess an entitled white woman from Detroit via her English accent <laughs> is allowed to say whatever she wants. There's a lot of black talk right now in the first 10 minutes of our show. Please, look, come back to your TV, please. Please come back. We talk race here at Wendy. I'm not trying to make people feel weird. I'm just pointing out the obvious, because that's what I do. Okay, so Reese Witherspoon and her husband, Jim, hold on. <laughs> they were arrested over the weekend in Atlanta. Jim was pulled over after midnight, when you know nothing good happens. <laughs> pulled over on suspicion of DUI after he weaved into the wrong lane. Reese 
was instructed to stay in the car, but she kept ignoring the officer. She started acting up. When Reese got out of the car the second time, the officer arrested her for disorderly conduct. They were both booked and re I bet you that was the best sex ever. When they finished, you know, these are the mug shots. And Reese was allowed to look down, I guess on account of she's white, because... <laughs> Let me just talk to the black women just for a moment. <laughs> Sisters, you know we would have been thrown in a cell for taking a mug shot like that. <laughs> By the way, not a laughing matter. If that was one of us and our man was being arrested, we would have been shot and killed right there trying to get out of the car and defend our man. Please don't be uncomfortable, white people, but prejudice is alive and well. And we're going to talk about it every chance we get here on the show. Don't feel uncomfortable, but I'm just saying, if this was a black couple, this would have gone a whole other way. Race talk. It, it bonds us all, I guess.